What's going on everyone? CJ back here with a brand new episode of the Madden 24 St. Louis Sentinels franchise. That is right, welcome back. So I made a slight error this afternoon as I was recording my intro for the Jets game. A slight whoopsie if you will. I was gonna start the game uh, and I mistakenly hit advance week, which is a big no-no in the world of Madden franchise. I haven't done that since early on in the Austin Armadillos franchise, but needless to say, I was uh, quite displeased and I was really looking forward to taking on Aaron Rodgers and the Jets. And unfortunately, that's not going to happen. And you know what? Just cue the depression. I'll tell you the fact that our tight ends are really not that good. I don't see any reason why. Oh my fucking god, dude. Why did I do that? Now, luckily, the Madden gods did smile on us, and we did win that game 27 to 21. And the only thing I really did worth noting was we signed Chase Young to a four year, I think it was $80 million contract. So we locked Chase Young in for the long term. But we got the win, so I guess that's good. Let's take a quick look and see what our players did in this game because I did not have any control over it. And when I don't have any control over it, Sam Howe plays good, apparently. Okay, maybe that's the recipe to success. It's just sim all our games. Howell had three touchdowns, zero picks, 222 yards. Rodgers had over 300, but he was only one and one. And Sam Howe's completion percentage for Sam Howe 64% is very good. Rushing, it looks like Brian Robinson just had a average day, nothing crazy. 59 yards, 4.2 yards per carry. Brees Hall didn't really do anything either, so the running game was uh, not on display. McCole Hartman, who was recently shipped off to the Chiefs in real life, had seven catches, 82 yards. And look at Terry. Terry found the end zone twice, four for 70, and Curtis Samuel also found the end zone as well so receivers our two main guys did pretty good it looks like uh Derek Forrest okay free safety got what I want to say is his first interception of the season so good on Derek Quinn and Williams had a sack and a half Jonathan Allen had one as well and that was it so I mean okay I will take the win and no I did not force him the win or anything crazy like that just in case anybody was wondering taking a look at the NFC East standings we are back over 500 again so that is great to see haven't been over 500 in quite some time we're eight and seven tied with the Philadelphia Eagles they must have more inner division wins than us because they, they're still above us in the standings Cowboys obviously running away with this at 12 and 3, but we are tied with the Eagles and we have two probably very tough opponents coming up here, the San Francisco 49ers and the Dallas Cowboys. And taking a look at the playoff standings here, we are still the 7th seed. So Green Bay Packers the 2 seed. So if the season ended today, we'd be taking on my favorite team, the Packers, as you can see all the Green Bay memorabilia behind us. So that would be pretty fun. Eagles still the sixth seed, and we take on the four seed 49ers today and the one seed Dallas Cowboys to finish this thing off in week 18. So a victory today against the Niners, we could jump them and potentially be either the five or the four seed, really, depending on what happens. As I mentioned, we did lock up Chase Young on a long, long-term deal, got him until 2027. Cap hit doesn't even really get too crazy. I mean, 21 million is a lot, but for a player of Chase Young's caliber, I mean, that's to be expected. And Deron Payne, uh, still undecided on him, man. He is going to have a significant jump in his cap hit. He was only hitting for $8.61 million this year. That jumps to 21 million next year, and then 26, as high as 28 million in 2026. Now, Deron Payne has been playing really good lately he does lead our team in sacks but i don't know how we're gonna be able to pay all these players as right now we only have 11.2 million dollars in cap space and maybe shipping off to ron Payne could free up some of that especially since we got some uh, big name rookies that we're going to be targeting in the draft so i'm not quite sure yet what i'm going to do with deron but it is enticing to free up that cap space. Big game this week, as I mentioned, if I cannot sim past it. 
49ers are nine and six. We're eight and seven. And if we can somehow win, we could possibly jump them and take their playoff position, take their playoff seating. Now, the Niners have a really good offense. They got tons of weapons, of course. Debo Samuel and Brock Purdy is a weapon himself. Brandon Ayu, Christian McCaffrey. And I think that when it comes to defending the 49ers, I mean, really, it's a, it's pick your poison. I mean, I would love to, I guess we'll go defend outside run to start, even though you guys know I hate choosing that because now we're going to get terrible blocking or, you know, terrible block shedding on the inside run. And I did switch our guys to full pad last week, but the fatigue started to set in. So I'm going to switch it back to half pads. I think that's probably the best thing to do. And it looks like they defend the rush very good, but they have Nick Bosa. And when you have Nick Bosa, I think that it's safe and probably the best option to go blitz counter. Again, just to start, we can always adjust that at halftime if need be. And for our weekly game plan, hey, Sam Howell threw three touchdowns last week. I want to keep that trend going. And we're going to go two plus passing touchdowns with Sam Howell. Wow, some big upgrades here. Chase Young going to go ahead and get one. We will probably go speed rusher. I would imagine tackle, pursuit, finesse moves. Yeah, I mean, Chase Young is a speed rusher. That's what he does. And he is going to get plus two to finesse moves, but also plus one to power moves, which is pretty cool. So a little best of both worlds action there. I think I also saw B-Rob in here. Yes, indeed. Brian Robinson going to get an upgrade too. We need to make him more elusive because Brian Robinson's juke move stinks. And it looks like it's not going to, well, it's going to get a little bit better. Plus one and plus two change of direction. But why is Brian sad with minus one morale? Last but not least, look at the new story on Paul Logan. Also, Terry McLaurin shines against the Rams. Thank you. But Paul Logan will have to make some extra room in his luggage on his way back to Wisconsin after being the recipient of the best tight end award. So I've talked about Paul Logan so much. He's a top five talent in the draft. He looks to be a, just a freak, maybe even a generational type of talent. I'm not sure, but that just kind of solidifies me, my choice in choosing Paul Logan. So I got to make sure I play season game this time and not advanced week. God, I'm so upset about that, man. I really wanted to play Aaron Rodgers and the Jets, but we're here now. That's the important thing. And if you guys are fired up for some more St. Louis Sentinels gameplay, please make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and you should subscribe if you enjoy Madden 24 content, because I drop it weekly. Also, feel free to use the super thanks button down below if you so choose. Any donations uh, used with that feature will go to the betterment of this channel always and for equipment and stuff like that. So we are here, guys. Two more games to play. If we can rattle off a couple wins, we are going to be in the playoffs and maybe even a higher seed than I think anybody expected. So we're back at home. Without further ado, let's get down to Sentinel Field in Missouri and get ready for the game. Joey Sly going to boot this thing deep back to Ray Ray McLeod, and we are here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final push before the playoffs. Can you guys believe that we're even in the playoff conversation? Man, oh man, a year one franchise where we're potentially going to make the playoffs. I mean, you didn't get that with the uh, Cupcake Relocation franchise, that's for sure. As we get a look at Brock Purdy's numbers, Mr. Irrelevant. Uh, <laughs> Brock Purdy, man, in, in this game, the Niners still have Trey Lance. So they got Trey Lance and Sam Darnold couple of high draft picks and then you got Brock Purdy Mr. Ir Irrelevant picked last in the draft sitting there like hold my beer I'll show you guys how it's done Christian McCaffrey only picking up two CMC is probably going to be a problem today uh, he's a problem pretty much every game as I record this as a matter of fact it is Monday night and the Niners are taking on my hated Minnesota Vikings and they're losing 10 nothing so very interesting Purdy going to come out split backs here. He's got Elijah Mitchell and Christian McCaffrey behind him. It's going to be a read option. And look at Brock breaking tackles. Okay, Jartavius Martin, possibly our best defender, brings him down. Purdy is also a little slow to get up there, but uh, Purdy not really known for his legs. He does have a big, I think, 27-yard gain in this game going on in real life here. So maybe that's something that we have to game plan for. But he is going to go ahead and send the tight end in motion. That's not Kittle. And going to be a bat of Gibson McCaffrey. There's McCaffrey. 
ever so elusive, still pushing the pile, able to pick up about 15 on that one and big conversion for the Niners. How about we dial up a little pressure? Our defensive line has been getting some sacks with regularity in these last couple of games and no sack there, but Jonathan Allen doing what he does best, which is stuffing the run. Jonathan Allen is on pace to have a record setting season in terms of TFLs. I don't know what the record is. I'm going to have to look, but he's got, I think, over 50 now. So split backs again for Purdy. Going to be a give to Elijah Mitchell. And nice tackle there at the legs by Cam Curl because that one could have been a lot more dangerous than what it was. I also saw Elijah Mitchell was kind of puffing and puffing, kind of kind of wheezing back there, if you will. Kind of kind of coughing back there, if you will. Shout out to the 151 Pokemon. Huh? And also shout out to Cody Barton coming back off of the injury. It's his third game back. Stuffs McCaffrey in the backfield for a loss of three. And I think that is going to bring out Mitch Wisnowski, my favorite name to say in Madden. Just say it with me. Mitch Wisnowski. So fun. He's going to punt it back to Jahan Dotson. And how about uh, stopping the Niners on their first drive of the game? You love to see it. Here comes Sam Howe, Mr. Anomaly. The glitch, the cheat code himself, going to get a look at his stats. 37 touchdowns, 23 picks, but closing in on 5,000 yards. And again, you guys let me know in the comments, should I rock with Sam Howell or should I go after the rookie J.J. Ford? It's always fun to play a franchise with an auto-generated quarterback, so I'm kind of leaning that route, but you guys let me know. First and 10, gonna be a little play action boot, and I see Terry open in the middle of the field. Good enough pass from Sam. Terry gonna go ahead and pick up 20 on his opening reception, the St. Louis savior, number one in the league in receiving yards. And after those two touchdowns that we saw in the Simmed game, he might be number one in touchdown passes as well. We'll come out gun here. Three wide receiver spread. Little levels concept. We'll see who wants to get open. I pressed the complete wrong button. Oh, my God. I was trying to go to Robinson. Check down in the flat. And my thumb, like, you know, Robinson was R1 here. And my thumb hit a uh, triangle. And, oh, man, that could have been so bad. But somehow, someway... Jahan Dotson catches it, so uh, all right, I will take it. First and 10, ball is just past midfield. We are moving here on the opening drive. Dangerous pass. Got to always have eyes on Fred Warner as he is one of the best middle linebackers in the game. Second and 10 now, ball still on the 49. We're going to go a little draw play to Robinson, looking for good blocks. He kind of got him there for a minute, but Javon Hargrave, wow. All these Austin Armadillo references. If you guys haven't watched that series, give it a shot. Uh, it's much different than this one. I was my first series on YouTube. This is only my second. But Javon Hargrave was on that team, and he was a big part of some of the success we had. But nonetheless, it's third and nine now. Got to pick up some good yards. I see Logan Thomas. Tried to lead it to the right, but couldn't lead it enough away from Fred Warner, who I just said. One of the best middle linebackers in the game. Couple punts to start this one off. We'll see if we can possibly pin him deep. Although, I don't really want to. Because every time I pin him deep, it seems like they gash off like a 90-something yard play. Something crazy like that. So, it's going to bounce into the end zone. Touchback. Brock Purdy coming out for his second drive of the evening. Second and very manageable for Purdy and the Niners here. So, we'll see if he goes to no, CMC here. We got James Smith-Williams in, which is kind of scary. He is going to go to CMC. Kendall Fuller can't get off of his block. And Derek Forrest has to play savior in the backfield as that could have been a great gain as well. And McCaffrey now starting this thing off pretty good. Could have swore I did defend the, in, the outside run too. That was an outside run. Didn't seem to really matter too much on that one. McCaffrey, great blocks. They got Trent Williams and... Some of those guys down there setting the edge pretty good. Cam Curl gets the block or the tackle there, but looks like it's going to be a long day at the office with good old CMC. We're guessing pass, though, on this one, and we're also shading inside because I think it's going to be a pass. And, man, Jartavius Martin puts your hands up there. Jawan Jennings caught that, but you got to figure that Jartavius Martin, who has just been playing great recently, could have had a chance for a pick, but... 
was not to be apparently and now the Niners are moving definitely in field goal range already so got to be mindful of that we'll see where he's going to go to Debo Samuel another one of these great weapons on the Niners and Debo is able to pick up seven we'll try some man coverage here zone really doesn't seem to be working as they are kind of picking us apart gonna be a play fake to McCaffrey and there's Kendall Fuller oh my god these DBs for the Sentinels Perfect timing, user pick. How about these DBs from the Sentinels, man? They have just been, they were quiet early on in the season. Brock Purdy didn't really throw the best ball there, but Kendall Fuller able to climb the ladder and pick it up. He was going to Jawan Jennings again, which is his favorite target for whatever reason in this one. Acrobatic catch by Kendall Fuller. And defense able to get the Niners off of the field. It's going to be second and 10. This Niners defense is good, most definitely. And especially, you got Nick Bosa over there. So I need Antonio Gibson to block. Although, I think we actually streak him. Because there's really nobody there guarding Gibson. I actually don't like it, though. Going to go underneath to McLaurin. And Nick Bosa almost got to us. That's going to bring up a third and 10. You know we're going gun verts uh, here on third and ten. Coach suggestion seems to always call that one for me, and I kind of like Jahan Dotson, and he had a chance, but it was batted away there by Chartavius or Jar Jarvarius. Sorry, couldn't say that name. Mr. Ward, Mr. Ward was able to bat it away, and this is just a good old punt fest and turnover fest, and uh, looking like maybe points might be hard to come by today. Thought it might be a shootout, but it's looking like that's not going to be the case. Okay, we'll see what Purdy has here on drive number three. So far, a punt and an INT is what he has on his resume. He's going to step up and run. Cody Barton can't get him. Jonathan Allen chasing him. So Brock Purdy channeling his inner Lamar Jackson, I guess, in this one as he has two very good rushes. couple goose eggs on the scoreboard here due to uh, some good play by both teams defense but the Niners are again moving they are already close to Jake Moody field goal range although Jake Moody's having a tough time the rookie out of Michigan he obviously lost uh, that game against the Browns last week which I loved and he has a miss here tonight in real life this is against Minnesota so Jake Moody is not really having too much fun back there big stop there in the backfield by the man who just got some money Chase Young dropping CMC for a loss of one. And that's, you know, when you pay a guy $80 million over four years, you want to see that. Absolutely. So now second and 11 here, Purdy coming out shotgun, just like you would expect him to. Looking for CMC. And look at Deron Payne out there in coverage. Wow. Deron Payne was out there in coverage. Forces McCaffrey to lose about two on the play. And now it's a big third down. Our defense is playing great. I'm going to come out man. Uh, might not be the best decision in the world, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyways. We'll see where Purdy decides to go. He has tons of weapons on the field. It's going to be Ayuk who picks up a big one there. Kendall Fuller wraps him up, but not until the damage was done. Niners pick up a clutch third down and boy did they need that Purdy had ice in his veins and now Ben but don't break Ben but don't break for our defense holding them to a field goal would not be the worst thing in the world but can we do it we got pressure nobody putting a body on George Kittle you can't do that Niners are knocking we'll see if anybody answers the door or if we can possibly slam that thing shut in their face Jamin Davis uh opened the door and then McCaffrey slammed it in his face as he just pushed him aside there and is able to find Pater. So ultimately, the Niners are going to draw first blood, which, I mean, I'm not surprised at that, really. But we did have a couple good defensive stands, but just unfortunately not able to capitalize on any of those. And now we have to try to match Purdy and find six of our own. Brian... Robinson closing in on 1,000 yards. He might actually be past it now after that game last week. Let's put Terry on a streak. Got a little mesh concept working here. We'll see if one of these receivers wants to get open. And oh, my good God almighty. I don't know what that was from Sam Howell. But I just literally saw my life 
flash before my eyes on that one. And boy, this one, uh, yeah. Okay. This one is starting off tough. Let's put Robinson on a wheel. I want to see if McLaurin can possibly get open in the middle of the field. He came back to the ball, but dropped it. And Sam House, two of eight. <laughs> see, how does the Madden sims him? And he goes almost 70% completion. And when I start playing with them, he can't complete a pass. And so far, we are just punting the ball away on every drive. Cannot get anything established on offense, which Niners are a good defense, so that kind of makes sense. But we better freaking figure it out soon. A little nickel blitz action. Yes, here on first and 10. We'll see if that helps to get some pressure. Nope, nice curl there by, speaking of curl, Cam Curl. Gets George Kittle on the curl. That's fun. But nice curl route there by George Kittle. He was able to pick up seven. And we're having a tough time really uh, figuring out this Niners offense right now. They're pretty much doing whatever they want. Going to be a give to McCaffrey. And Cam Curl luckily was there to get him. Big third and one coming up. Got to find a way to get him off the field. We're going pressure. We are going pressure here. We'll see if it helps. And, oh, somebody gets a Purdy. Please, no, it's uh, George or Devo Samuel. He's so open. Nice play fake there by Purdy. Purdy is 9 for 10. Only incomplete pass is that interception. That was a very nice play fake. I definitely bit on it. And I know the CPU did as well. And he found Debo Samuel on the crosser. Big chunk play. Niners threatening again. Nickel Blitz again. I mean, why not? Seems like the uh, right thing to do to me. We'll see if he goes to McCaffrey. He's not going to go to McCaffrey. He's going to go to Jawan Jennings, who is playing at an all-pro level for some reason. Unbeknownst to me. But this game is moving, and this clock is ticking here, guys. And uh, we're yet to score. So I don't know what has to happen, but a lot of things. A lot of things have to happen, and they need to happen fairly quick. Deron Payne with pressure in the backfield. Purdy eludes, and there's nobody there. Wow. Nobody there. Purdy eludes the pressure from Deron Payne. We got players doing jumping jacks in the field, doing leg kicks, throwing it way back, and uh, we're just not having a good time. Our defense is not having a good time. We started out great, but we are slowly fizzling off. We got to go PA cross out of single back X bunch nasty. We got to get something going here. Please give me just a little bit of time. There we go. Floating it over the defender's head. Curtis Samuel able to catch it. Niners bench can't believe it, but if you watch any sort of tape or do any sort of scouting, you should believe it because that play, we only use it in need to convert situations and I only ever use it once per game and that was the perfect time to do that so let's go ahead and double team Nick Bosa because we're gonna need a little bit of time to make this play work and oh oh John got it yes I was about to say bad pass from Sam Howe but it actually was a good pass we led Jahan Dotson beautifully beautifully on that one we were throwing on the run as well that was a heck of a pass yeah that was good stuff there man you see we play action rolled out and i saw Jahan dotson getting open i actually tried to lead him to the left so maybe that was just a terribly inaccurate ball by sam howe that proved to be as accurate as it possibly could either way we get this thing all the way down to the five and man oh man did we need that now this is where we definitely need to lean on one Brian Robinson here pretty heavy. We're going to come out trap out of the single back. Give me something. Brian punches it in. And man, oh man, did the St. Louis Sentinels need that. Brian going to strum on his little guitar there. Play a little tune in the end zone. And uh, we needed that in the worst way. And only thing I will say, only, uh, only bugaboo, if you will, that I have is we left the Niners with three and a half minutes. And right now, we can't stop anything that they are doing. Uh, we do get the ball first, which is nice. We're going to get the ball first out of the locker room after halftime. But uh, if the Niners score here and go up 
we're literally right back in the same position that we were. McCaffrey tearing us up, averaging 5.3 yards per carry, and he has been, he was the focal point early on, and now Brock Purdy is kind of starting to, uh, to figure it out here. We'll see if he goes to McCaffrey here out of the jumbo set, which he will. Shrugs off Cody Barton's tackle. Nobody can get him. Cam Curl finally does, but McCaffrey closing in on the century mark here, and we're not even at halftime yet. So that kind of scares me. That's very disturbing, and we're probably going to have to maybe, I don't know, change our game plan to defend the inside run, possibly. Now we got a chance to get him. Emmanuel Forbes cannot get him on the tackle. McCaffrey's so hard to bring down on first contact, and now he is at 94 yards rushing. It is second and seven here, and we have got to play damage control and hold Purdy and these Niners to a field goal. I will take only a gain of one by Ayuk. Not going to call a timeout here. We'll see how aggressive the Niners want to be. They may be in Jake Moody field goal range. I don't know. We're going to shade outside on this one because some of those crossers have uh, really been tearing us up. And there's McCaffrey. We just... I, I was afraid that was going to happen, so I dropped Montez Sweat out in coverage immediately. But Montez Sweat is never going to be able to keep up with McCaffrey. First and 10 here. We uh, still are not calling timeouts. Got to be. Oh, there's a big sack. Now we might. Maybe I shouldn't have. Trying to get the ball back. But I guess we might have just did the Niners a favor there by calling that timeout. Who was that, by the way? Was that Deron Payne who got that sack? I think it might have been Deron Payne. It was Deron Payne. Well done. He is really try. He must have heard me talk about trading him because he's just given me uh, reason after reason to keep him on this roster. Maybe I can restructure his contract. That is a new feature here in Madden. So I don't know. We'll have to look at that in the offseason. But maybe that's something we could possibly do. And uh, just nobody guarding Debo Samuel. Guess uh, maybe I shouldn't have called that timeout. Although... Niners might have done it, and uh, now he's pelvic thrusting. That's fun. I need double teams on Nick Bosa because I may try to roll out. Also, we got Terry on press, so what is that safety? Go oh, okay, please hit Terry. Please hit Terry. Thank you. It's been so long since that happened. Is Terry going to house this? Is Terry going to house this? He is. Wow. A one-play dagger to the nfl's leader in receiving yards and oh my goodness terry's playing basketball now uh no terry you're playing football and you should be playing football because you're a hell of a wide receiver but he was getting pressed there pressed hot and heavy and as soon as i saw that i'm like look all we need is a couple step drop the safety kind of played inside a little bit so I knew we were going to have single coverage. Terry takes care of the rest. And now can we just go into the locker room without allowing another 49ers score? So 21-14, how's about that? It looked like we were going to fall out of contention in this one. And all it takes in the NFL is a couple plays. We're out passing. But look at those rushing yards, man. We have got to get something going on the ground. I may switch my focus to uh, run it inside because... Even though Sam Howell is playing great, uh, didn't really have the best of moments in that first half. And a couple of those passes were shaky at best. So let's try to get the B-Rob train rolling here. And as far as our game plan, we're going to switch to defend the inside run. Not sure how much that is going to help as now uh, Madden's going to know that I did that. And they'll probably just run it outside with McCaffrey. But hey. A guy can dream, can he? Let's see if uh, maybe Jahan Dotson can just get something going. It's so hard to return kicks in this one. And we are going to start this drive from the 19. This is the time where I would love to see Brian Robinson take over here. We're going to try to get something going, maybe, and really nothing working there as Javon Hargrave is able to shut Brian Robinson down for only a gain of two. Brian is having a uh, pretty tough game here at the office, if I do say so myself. Coach suggestion says PA cross, and this is not out of the single back X bunch nasty. So, yes, I can call it. Going to be looking for uh, Jahan Dotson and or Curtis Samuel. Need some time, and we're not going to get it because we are going to be 
thrown down there by Kyler Fackrell. Protection just did not hold up. And that is going to be a loss of seven. Just so you guys see, coach suggestions. I don't call this play all the time just because I want to. Coach is telling me to call it. And who am I to argue with coach? I mean, coach is me. So we need 17. Basically need a miracle. Terry's kind of open. And he hung on to it. And he fought forward for the first down. The St. Louis savior is here in Missouri. Fred Warner can't believe it. Terry is three for 112 yards. I freaking love it. I am here for it. Seven days a week, 24-7, 365. I am here for it. First and 10 coming out shotgun. Little mesh concept. And I didn't really mean to go to Logan Thomas there, but I mean, okay. It'll count for a gain of four, so I guess I will take it. This could be a streak situation for... Actually, Terry's getting pressed again. So let's streak Terry. Let's put Jahan Dotson on a drag. And let's look for some single coverage. Does Terry have it? He does. He hangs on. Oh, wow. I'm fired up, if you guys couldn't tell. What a grab by Terry McLaurin. This guy is an animal. He is a literal alien. We high-pointed that ball. Diamador Lenore tried to go up and get it, but the Terry had the wherewithal to locate the ball in midair, come down with it, and keep this drive going. Terry McLaurin is my BFF forever. I love him. I literally love Terry. Terry, I love you. Literally, figuratively, every sense of the word. Antonio Gibson, do I love you? Do I love you? I do, I do, I love you too, Antonio. Oh my God, Sentinel's moving. Ricky Stromberg, I don't love you because you just got injured, but what a drive that we have working here. Man, oh man. Terry is now in the zone too, so gotta pay attention to that. Let's go ahead and try to pick something up here with Logan Thomas. Out of the reach, bad throw by Sam Howe. What can we do on this one? Logan Thomas, he might be open. We need Fred Warner to take uh, Brian Robinson here maybe, so we'll put him on a wheel and see Thomas. Oh, I tried to throw it, but it didn't register. The button didn't register, I swear. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Tashawn Gibson gets it. I pressed X on my third drop, like my third step on the drop back but it didn't register man i'm telling you gotta believe me look you guys know i have no problem admitting my shortcomings if i do something stupid i will admit it but i'm telling you i i even put thomas on the streak because i knew it was going to be a quick step drop and i tried to throw it i tried to throw it right about here but i think maybe sam how couldn't haul in the snap good enough or something because you can see I started to like move right a little bit and that is highly highly unfortunate a drive not even a drive staller a drive killer oh that is unfortunate that is unfortunate indeed but just gotta shrug it off and play football Manuel Forbes trying to play football as he wrestles down McCaffrey. Never an easy task. And it's going to be third and inches. So I think we're going to come out zone and we're going to audible into pressure because you got to always be trying to fool the Madden AI. Is it going to be a give to McCaffrey? I sure hope so. It should be. It should be. It should be. Can we get somebody back there? We do. It's Quincy Williams. Oh, man. So, 49ers are not able to capitalize on the turnover from Sam Howe. Our defense comes up clutch. Mitch Wisnowski is going to punt this thing back to John Dotson, and we get a mulligan. We get a mulligan on that one. Chance to do it over, and let's do it right this time. Let's go draw play to Robinson. Need some good blockers. Trying to dance around back there. Maybe did a little bit too much dancing, but I was just trying to... Look for that open hole. Drake Greenlaw gets the tackle. That really didn't uh, materialize into much at all. And now it's a second and nine. So we're going to come out pistol here. And uh, Curtis Samuel, Terry, um, I don't know. Let's put Logan Thomas on a block and release possibly. And just see who wants to get open. It might be Thomas in the middle. It is. 
Stiff arming Fred Warner and able to get it all the way to the 36. Only Thomas' second reception of the game. So where do we go here on third and two? What is the best play to call here? Um, we're going to go single back rollout play action. Might be able to hit Terry. We already hit him once earlier on the same concept. Maybe Sam Howe could even scramble for some yards if he needed to. And we have an open receiver there. It's Jahan Dotson also having a great game as well. Sam Howe back to 50% completion. Jahan Dotson hauls in a big one. He's at three for 84. And now we are on the 14 yard line. All right, Brian, I'm calling your number again. Can you please make it worth my while? I mean, you kind of did. Kyler Fackrell got us again. But again, there's just, there's just no blocking really in this one. I mean, I cannot put all the blame solely on the shoulders of Brian Robinson. And they really, really want me to run it. I don't know if I want to run it. So I'm not going to run it. Maybe we can hit Terry on this corner route, possibly. We'll see what develops here. I also need Brian Robinson to block for me. We'll see if Terry can get open on the corner back shoulder throw. Terry got it. Oh, he didn't get into the end zone, though. Uh -huh. I let him just a little bit too far down. Um, but that is okay because he is able to get it all the way to the one yard line. We'll go single back trap here. And we got a wide open lane in the middle. Brian Robinson already hit on one of these earlier. Can he hit for two? He does. Brian Robinson got about as many touchdowns as he has yards per carry, which is never a good stat, but maybe it is because touchdowns equal points. Brian hasn't had a really good game, but he has come up clutch when we have called his name in, you know, the one, two yard line. And don't look now, guys, but we got ourselves probably a zero ball game. And we do. Joey Sly is true. Got to do what we do. Sentinels, color is blue. I don't know. I ran out of rhymes on that one. But it's 21-21. Buckle your freaking seatbelts. We'll pinch the line here. Got to be mindful of uh, this McCaffrey run. Although, Brock Purdy is changing the play here at the line. Staying in single back. We'll see what he wants to go ahead and do. We're flushing him out of the pocket. Trying to get him with Jonathan Allen. And oh my god, he hung in there for long enough. Debo Samuel, when he sees his quarterback in trouble, Debo is so... Dangerous there in the open field. Fourth quarter, got a big one here. 21 all. San Francisco is vastly out rushing us. We are vastly out passing them. And the score is even. 10 minutes to go. Who is going to be moving up in the seeding in the NFC playoffs? Hope it is us by far. But uh, I don't think the Niners are going to go away without a fight here. And it's going to be a sack by Chase Young. Oh, man. We just had to give him a little bit of money, man. He inked that contract, put his John Hancock on that bad boy, and now he is playing like a man on a mission. And I'm here for it because Chase has been kind of quiet, actually, on this season. He's played okay at times, but nothing crazy. Where's Purdy going to go? We're locking up McCaffrey. Going to find Ayuk downfield. Ayuk still going. And now the Niners are uh, into the red zone. Brock Purdy's only misfired on one pass, and it was that interception to Kendall Fuller early on. Let's send some heat at Purdy. Make him uh, think about this one a little bit here. Hopefully, that will prove to be a good decision. Where's he going to go? Where's he going to go? He's got Kittle wide open. I knew it. Oh, my God. I saw the. Oh, man, I was usering on the safety. I think it was Derek Forrest, and I completely, that's on me. That's on me. I completely played that route wrong. George Kittle is able to get it in the end zone, and just like that, the Niners go up, and uh, we got our work cut out for us here, guys. I said San Francisco was not going to go away without a fight. And it's not going to help if I'm doing them favors by playing terrible man coverage. We'll come out shotgun here. Try to get Gibson on a screen pass. And he's got blockers ahead of him. Antonio Gibson, probably a better receiver than he is a running back. And he's also given Charvarius Ward a piece of his mind, throwing some four-letter words in there. Definitely not something that you want to be saying at the Thanksgiving dinner table, that's for sure. 
But uh, I'm, yeah, I'm undecided on Gibson. I still don't really know if we're going to extend him or not. It's first and 10 here. We'll see who wants to get open. Going to give it to Robinson on the out route. Can you stiff arm a defender? No, you cannot. Sam Howell at 299, closing in on 300. We will come out shotgun here, bunch to the right. See who wants to make a play and keep this drive. It's Curtis. It's Curtis. He has room to run. Can you outrun Char Jarvarius Ward? He does. And now Sam Howell goes over 300. Brandon Ayuk not happy about it on the sideline, but I am happy about it here. And we now are putting a pretty solid drive together. We got Terry on press coverage. So let's, oh, we're going to hit him. We're going to hit him. No, we are not. The Amador Lenore played that beautifully. Somebody was watching tape or maybe just learned from his uh, previous mistake. There it was press coverage on Terry. You guys know I can't resist that, man. And maybe I should have just, I thought I touched past it, but maybe I needed to lob past it on that one. But honestly, Lenore just made a highly, highly acrobatic play. And that uh, does not bode well for your St. Louis Sentinels as we really needed a score there. And now they are probably gonna be in kill clock mode. And my silly little self came out dime. So I gotta watch McCaffrey, which of course, it's gonna be McCaffrey. We're able to track him down, but he did pick up seven. Yeah, just gotta give hats off to Lenore on that one, man. I mean, that was a good read by me. You guys see what Terry does to press coverage. He eats it. He eats it like it's his lunch. And that time he's gonna go to bed hungry, probably because uh, D'Amador Lenore just snatched his treats, took his cookies if you will and now they're probably going to be in McCaffrey run mode so we'll go ahead and pinch the line here no gonna be a pass this time need a big interception Purdy is just 20 for 21 I mean that's insane right now the Niners are I'm sure just going to be content to chew as much of this clock as they can and you got to figure they're going to come away with some type of points anyways whether it's a field goal, touchdown, and regardless, that's going to make it a two-score game. Nice open field tackle there by Jamin Davis on CMC. And right now is the time. Right now is the time where if we're going to make a play and we're going to get him off the field, hold him to a field goal, this is the time to do it. We're going to show blitz, but it's not a blitz. Going to be looking at McCaffrey probably all day. And wow, for some reason, uh, George Kittle just fell to the floor there. Probably could have had some yards after the catch, but that is going to bring out the rookie, Michigan Wolverine, Jake Moody. So he's going to make this, I'm sure. It's going to be a two. Oh, block, block. We got the animation too. Unable to block the kick, and that makes it a two-score game. And now we got to score and move quickly because if we can punch this in, we may need to go to the onside kick. Unless we just punch it in really fast. We got all three timeouts, so that is good. Jahan Dotson, how about a one-play kick return touchdown? Can you do that for me? No, you can't. <laughs> we'll start out slip screen to Brian Robinson. Just want to see a couple completions. And Robinson has a few blockers, but nobody could really hold it too much. Sam Howe is at 320, but it's, it's Sam Howe. I'm sure you guys have uh, probably come to expect that by now. It's second and five. We got 320 to go in this ball game, and we really have to kind of put the pedal to the metal and bad pass by Sam off of the foot of the defender, way out of the reach of Jahan Dotson. That's going to bring up third and five. Is this four down territory? I mean, probably as much as I don't want it to be. Curtis Samuel might just not have to worry about that as he is able to catch it on the drag and get the conversion but we got to move quick here we really do not have the luxury of piddle dicking around and i see okay well Jahan dotson might have a shot at this maybe mclaurin who wants to get open oh it's a terrible pass by sam it's a terrible pass by sam incompletion best case scenario on that pass Gonna work some slants who can get open who oh diami brown diami brown haven't called his name today but he beat his man initially, got some good release off of the line of scrimmage, and we're able to get this past 
midfield. Now, again, time, old father time is not our friend right now. Brian Robinson might be able to get this out of the backfield. We'll see what materializes. Brian going to catch it. That is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Ball's on the 40, and we got some work to do, ladies and gents. And we are under two minutes now, so really, really, really have to up the tempo here. Of course, might have Terry open on the seam here. Um, oh, I don't like anything. Oh, my God. Now, interesting scenario here. Scenario, if you will. We're going to try the 55-yarder from Joey Sly. So let me shut up right now. That should be a good kick. And Joey Sly is going to boot it through. We got all three timeouts. It's a two-score game anyways. Why not just take the points now? I'm sure it's going to be three runs to McCaffrey. Now, that's not easy to stop by any means at all. Uh, but it's doable. It at least gives us a chance. And if we cannot allow the Niners to get a first down here, we still have a fighting chance. But as I say that, there's McCaffrey's day. So do we have a fighting chance? I don't really know. I'd like to think that we do, but uh, <laughs> we haven't really put up too much of a fight today. So yes, of course Bruh. it's gonna be McCaffrey. And it, yeah, well, that's what he's gonna do. We're gonna call our first time out, but uh, not looking too good for the boys here in this highly competitive fun game. I mean, hey, these are the games that you like to lose. There's, there's no game that you like to lose. That's not even a thing. But these are the games that you feel okay I guess about losing and McCaffrey doing his thing, picking up six, but it, it was, it was fun. It was competitive. You know, both teams played good defense to start. Both teams' offenses started clicking and coming alive. It looks like we're just going to fall a bit short in this one, but we're playing the freaking Niners, man. That, I mean, they're, they're a good team. They're a good team. McCaffrey gets the first down. That is going to be game. So had a chance to jump the Niners in the playoff seating. Uh, Kyle Shanahan does get the win here. Coach CJ Smalls throws his Gatorade Cup. But does that knock us out of the playoffs? I don't think so. I think we're still safely at the seventh seed. But a loss next week to Dallas, and it's anybody's, it's anybody's guess. I don't know. Player stats here. I mean, we had some good performers. Sam Howe, 20 for 34. So a bit more accurate than we're used to seeing. 362 yards. And those two picks, especially that one to uh, Diamador Lenore, the press coverage on Terry, that really got us. Brock Purdy only missed one pass the entire game. And it was that pick to Kendall Fuller. Christian McCaffrey just completely dogged us. And Brian Robinson got dogged. Nine attempts, 17 yards, but two touchdowns. I mean, he had more touchdowns than average yards per carry. That That is what Brian did today. Now, receiving, it was the Scary Terry Show. Five catches, 155 yards, found the end zone. Debo Samuel, though, not far behind him. And then Jahan Dotson had a pretty good game as well. I mean, there was some things to like in that game by far. It definitely was exciting. It was definitely fun. I'm not going to go to bed upset today, which is always a good thing. You know, I don't want to, I don't like to go to bed upset. Nobody should have to do that, but we are going to drop back down to 500 at eight and eight on the season. And what does that do to seeding? That is the question. It really all depends on what Philly does this, this week. If Philly loses, I mean, we're, we're good. We're probably in the same position that we were before. Niners advance to 10 and 6, so they are going to climb up in the seeding. And of course, we will check that next episode. But one game left until the playoffs and or offseason. I hope it's the playoffs and not the offseason. But regardless of what happens, I have had fun this season. And there is more St. Louis Sentinels content to come. You can bet your britches on that one. So that is going to do it for me tonight, guys. As always, I appreciate you stopping by. I will catch you on the next one. Until then, peace.